Okay, uh, today we are going to be changing an oil control valve for the variable valve timing. We had a check engine light come on. It was P1349, which is the variable valve timing bank one. Okay, now this car has already had the same issue with bank two. I did a video before on changing the valve for bank two. Now we're going to do bank one. Okay. Um, it also tripped a couple of other codes, the P300, which is a intermittent uh, miss, and P, um, was it P, yeah, P0301, P0303, and P0305. Okay, you'll notice that the last digits there, 1, 3, and 5, refers to the cylinders 1, 3, and 5. So those are the ones that are being affected. All of these problems are being caused by the valve timing being off because the oil control valve is sticking. Okay, so we're going to change the oil control valve. Okay, so this is what an oil control valve looks like. Okay, uh, this is a used one that I picked up at the Wreckers. I actually picked up a couple of them at the Wreckers. And because this happened on a day that I can't readily get a new one, I'm going to put the used one in. I'm pretty confident that it works properly. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. We need a, a few tools, don't require a lot actually. Uh, just a simple ratchet set and an Allen key set is really all you need. Okay, uh, we're going to start by taking the plastic cover off the top. Okay. I'm sure most of you have done this before. Simply three Allen keys along the front, which are pretty easy to find. And the trick is actually the Toyota sign is the fourth attaching point. It's actually another bolt there. Okay, so we'll take those off. Like most people um, who've done this job before, you'll find that the covers are often broken. In this case, the middle bolt is broken on mine. If you're at the wreckers, pick up an extra because you're bound to break it sooner or later anyway. So off comes the cover. Careful not to lose those Allen bolts. Okay. Now the parts that we're going to be changing, I'll show you first the one that we've done before. I don't know if you can get it in there. That part right there is the oil control valve for bank two, which we've already changed. The one for bank one is hidden a little better. It's down there. Okay, that part right there is the oil control valve for bank one. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more difficult than the one for bank two. We're going to have to take a few more parts off in order to access it. Okay. Sometimes you may have seen in the, in the short video I was twisting it to get it out. Sometimes you may need a pair of pliers to pull on it because they're kind of stiff. But they come out usually fairly well. Nothing looks wrong with it. There is a test in the Haynes manual to check it by putting power to the two terminals in there. You can make it go click, 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 click. And that's supposed to prove that it's good. Well, the last one I tested, it proved it was good and it wasn't. I had to put a new one in. So the test is really not adequate. I think. Okay, so you can see the two, uh, I've got both of them here from the auto wreckers. They're basically identical except for the tab where the little 10 millimeter bolt goes is slightly in a different position. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. Okay, so the new valve is in. We put the, new, uh, the connector back on and the 10 millimeter bolt tightened it down. Put the rubber hose and its connector back on. Cleared our codes, ran the engine. Check engine light has stayed out. So with some luck, we'll be uh, all set here. I'll drive it for a couple of weeks. If we have a problem and it comes back, I'll order a new one and replace it with a brand new one. But knock on wood, looks like we've solved our problem. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.
Okay, now as I uh, mentioned before we had the code uh, come up for the oil control valve. There is a possibility, before you actually change your oil control valve, there is a possibility that there, uh, the filter that leads to the oil control valve is clogged with a gun. These engines are famous for sludging up and the sludge can stop the oil flow to the oil control valve and uh, cause the same problem. And it's worth trying to maybe check this out before you go ahead and change oil control valves. Okay. On the end of each cylinder head is a 14 millimeter bolt. Looks like that. Okay. It's hollow. And there's a little cone shaped filter that fits inside that hollow section there. And you can see this one that I got from the auto records again has lots of gunk in there. Okay. And that would stop the oil flow to the oil control valve. All right, you'll find that on the engine, right down here, there's actually two of them. There's the first one there, okay. The second one is a little harder to see, it's on the end of the other cylinder head down there, but you'll have to remove all this air filter housing stuff to get to it, okay. When you do take out that 14 millimeter bolt, okay, the filter sits in there, but sometimes, sometimes it comes out when you take the bolt head out, sometimes it doesn't and you might need a small pair of needle nose pliers like that to reach in and grab it or a pair of tweezers or something like that then you simply wash the filter with a with some brake cleaner and reinstall it so try cleaning both of them first before you go ahead and change the oil control valve your problem may simply be gunk in there if you find that they are clean then you're going to have to go ahead and change the valves okay Thanks a lot.